Yo, what up? It's your boy Snap Jelly, aka Mr. Steal Your Girl. And um, in my previous video, I very shortly mentioned and uh, showed a little thing called the Bollock Dagger, which made uh, some people go like, "Really?" Uh, well, I'm here to tell you that yes, really, the Bollock Dagger was a thing. And it was supposedly very useful and also very popular. Now, the most obvious question is, of course, is it and why? As in, is it really shaped like a penis and why is it shaped like a penis? Well, yes, it is shaped like a penis in, 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 for all the, the non-Englishmen out there. Uh, bollocks is, is British English for testicles. It is supposed to represent male genitalia. And why? Well, we don't know. The fact is, it, it has been lost through time. There is a lot, a lot of speculation about it, of course, but the true reason, if there is a true reason, we're not sure. However, it was still, it was used quite a lot. It was used in uh, Scandinavia. Uh, it, this is also the dagger that eventually um, evolved into the Scottish Dirk, incidentally, which is also very popular there. Uh, but it was also used in, in, in Britain, in the Netherlands, and in Belgium as well for for quite a long time, from the 13th century all the way up to the 18th century, I believe, with, with its, its high point uh, during the, the 16th century, so 1500s, about-ish. So this dagger, it, it, um, it thrived during the, the late Middle Ages, and that's, that's pretty important if you want to understand the basics of, of how this dagger is used. You see, in terms of blade, the Bollock dagger does, does not have any distinct differences from the Rondel dagger, which is a dagger that you might know about. It is a very popular dagger during, during the Middle Ages, and it is a, a armor-piercing dagger, essentially. You see, the Rondel dagger has... I don't have one. I'm just gonna use this for now. Just a little decorative dagger. Doesn't matter. The Rondel dagger is, is round here on, on, uh, on the, the guard. It's a round guard that's called the Rondel, and that's why it's called the Rondel dagger. And it's also flat here. It has a flat pommel. And this encourages you to hold it like this. Which is how, in, in, during the Middle Ages, daggers were usually held. Not only, they were, they were also held like this, but mostly like this. And this is because you can exert a lot of force this way. Uh, it's an armor-piercing tool, not so much as a parrying tool. Which is what you see in, during the Renaissance, like you get these impressive kind of hilts, all kinds of different shapes. And um, you, you'd want to keep distance with, uh, with something like that. It's mainly for defense. Whereas, during the Middle Ages, with something like a rondel dagger, you draw those once you get in close. In fully armored combat during the late Middle Ages, 1500 something, when you encounter people with full plate armor, you would tackle them, start grappling, you would draw your, your rondel or, or, or a bollock or basilard, whatever you'd have. And you, because it's short, you can drive it easily into, a, into like, a, like a weak spot in his armor. And because of the flat pommel, you can hold it like this and use both, hand, both hands to just jam it in there potentially uh, because you, you have to avoid the blade armor, right? Because there are weapons that are specialized to, to fight against blade armor, like uh, freaking maces and warhammers, but even those have quite a hard time actually getting through that. So, um, with a dagger, you can search for those weak spots, use both hands, and just BAM! Jam it in there. Potentially break the links of mail, because it would wear mail underneath, uh, go through the gamison and kill your opponent. Hours of fun. Now what's important to note is that, um, because of course we're not talking about the Rondel dagger here, we're talking about the Bollock dagger. Now, the thing is, there are some similarities between the Rondel and, and the Bollock, and, and because most of the differences, of most of the distinct differences are just the hilt. But the Bollock dagger also has a flat pommel, right? Not, not like this, but it's flat. And this suggests what I just said, you could hold it like this and use it to to, to jam, to, to break through armor, that it was used that way. But, what you see on the Rondel Dagger is that the hilt, it, it, it does not completely restrict you, but depending on the size, sometimes they are like very large discs and then it kind of does, but um, it, it encourages you to hold it a specific way. And this suggests mainly military use, right? It was a dagger that you were supposed to use against people in armor, and uh, that's it. Uh, lots of rondels were not even sharpened on, on the sides, they were just pointy. Whereas the Bollock Dagger, it does not have a restrictive pommel like that, nor a restrictive guard. So this suggests more of a civilian use 
rather than military, even though you could still use it for military use, because the pommel is still flat, you can still use it as a good armor piercer. So it's a fairly useful dagger for both civilians and uh, soldiers. As you slowly and gently move your hands down the shaft of the bollock dagger, you'll find these beautiful balls, right? <clears throat> um, these testicle-like uh, things uh, on there, on the spot where the guard is supposed to be. Now, that is, of course, not going to do much in terms of blocking any incoming attacks. So, why are they there? Just for show? No. Because there's another thing that a guard does. You see, what a guard also does is it prevents your hand from slipping up. As you stab somebody, bam, you're gonna meet some resistance. Sometimes a lot, sometimes not that much, but you're gonna meet resistance, right? If you meet a lot of resistance and there's, there's nothing in, along the lines of a guard there, then your hand might slip up. You'll, you'll cut your own hand on your own blade. You don't want that. So, on the bollock dagger, you have these small little balls right there, nothing like this, just small little balls, but that might just be enough to prevent your hand from slipping up uh, to the blade and cutting yourself with your own blade. So that's the, that's the practical reason behind those balls. But there's also another thing that it might help with, and that's simply comfort. Yes, because um, during the Middle Ages, the reasons why rondels and, and bollock daggers were so popular is because daggers were usually held like this, right? Because they were armor-piercing tools. And what you see during the, during the Renaissance with these things is people started holding them uh, this way. But if you have a guard like this, like a straight guard, and you hold it like that, then that might get very annoying on your hand. As you meet a lot of force, you might move it a little bit. That's not going to be very comfortable. And just to show you, let's, let's grab this one. See, on first glance, it's not a problem. I can hold it like this, of course. But you see here, the little bar, that is going to unavoidably hit my arm at some point. So it's not, it's not a preferable situation to be in. Now the rondel dagger has this little disc right here, which evenly distributes the force, I suppose, and that makes it fairly comfortable to stab with this way. The bullet dagger has these two little bolts, which are rounded, and because of that they allow for more movement and they're going to be quite comfortable on your hand. So that's another thing that the balls are for. Now you might be saying, oh well, uh, the, the, the ball of dagger is just practical then. It, it, it makes no sense. It, it's just coincidence that it's shaped like a penis. Well, as far as we can tell, no. Uh, it doesn't have to be that shape. It's, people probably made it that shape on purpose. We don't know why, but um, they probably did. What I believe is the quote-unquote reason as to why people made it penis dagger is simply something cultural that has been lost through time. Um, because what people find rude or, or funny or, or normal or abnormal, it changes over time, right? And fact is, we don't know really what was considered to be rude during the Middle Ages. We do know, for example, as, as, uh, that um, the historians during the Victorian period, um, that's very late, that's like, that started like at 1830, seven, I believe, that was in the time of the gentlemen and, and the ladies with the fancy dresses, you know. People weren't that open about things, sex-related things, and people quite often referred to the bullet dagger as the kidney dagger. Because those little balls, depending on what dagger it is, it, they might also resemble kidneys. Eh. But it was just to avoid any sexual confrontation, any sexual innuendos. So, so keeping that in mind, we don't know what people really thought when they made the bullet dagger. We don't know if it was rude, we don't know if it was funny, we don't know if it was masculine. Like, it, may, it may have been like a symbol, like, ooh, maybe wearing something penis-shaped on, on your belt was, was considered to be cool. Right? We, <laughs> we don't know, that's the thing. Today it would be quite weird to have a penis-shaped weapon, but back then, who knows? We don't, we don't know, that's the thing. Also as a side note, um, I, from hearsay, I've, I've heard somebody say, I don't know if this is true or not, but I've heard somebody say that uh, the bullet dagger was often worn on the middle of your body rather than on the side of your body. Um, I don't know if this is true or not, but it may as well be true because depending on the type of clothes that you wear, wearing a dagger in the middle uh, can be way more comfortable. And this I, might also, you know, help in making it shaped like a penis, being like, ah, it's already in between your legs. Uh, so <laughs> it may very well be the reason because the thing is, the bollock dagger doesn't have to be penis-shaped in order to be effective the ways that it is. But why wouldn't it? 
you know, the only reason why you wouldn't make it penis shaped is because that's rude, you know, not socially accepted. So what we can make of this is that for some reason it was socially accepted during the times that it was used. Or maybe not, and maybe they did it on purpose, because it was not socially accepted, so it was cool if you had it. We don't know, but we can assume that it was socially accepted, because people made penis jokes throughout history. Like, honestly, if you just look through history, there are sex jokes everywhere. All cultures, through all time periods, they, they just made sex jokes everywhere. So, most likely, the bollock dagger is shaped like a penis, because penis jokes are funny, and people found penis jokes funny already in the Middle Ages. Um, that's about it. Subscribe, it'll make your penis larger. Yes, also if you're a girl, just try it. It'll grow larger, I swear. Also, follow me on Facebook and Twitter and all of that stuff. Links are in the description below, and thank you for joining my quest, and I hope you'll join me in the next one. Bye, guys.